Hey guys, welcome to another interesting class on Benko Institute. I am Gideon, your small engine technician. On today's class, we'll be looking at a very core topic in generator usage, and that is generator use and its maintenance. Okay, often at times we have a lot of clients who get generators and they really do not know how to use their generator. In fact, some do not know that cleaning your generator is, is helpful for the life of the generator. So in today's class, we'll be looking at how to use your generator. We'll tell you the basic things involved in the usage of your generator and how you can maintain your generator as well. Without further ado, let's dive into the class. All right. Before starting a generator, you should know there are three different ways of starting a generator. There is what we call the manual starting. There is equally the kick starting. And there is the remote starting. For these particular generators we have on our hands here, they do not have the remote uh, system of starting. So they just have the manual and the kick starting. I'll be making use of that. Okay, before kicking a generator, kindly note this. Generator starting are basically of two main types. There's what they call the cold starting and the hot starting, or the warm starting as the case may be. For cold starting, that means the generator has been down, like it has not been in use, and the generator is so cold. Why for warm starting, meaning the generator just went off, probably was used for hours and just went off and you tried starting it again. That, that is the simple explanation for what I mean by the cold and hot starting. Okay, this particular generator has been on ground and has not been in use for a while. This particular generator is our office generator here. In fact, it's still very, very much hot. You get still very much hot. So what this means is that it's been in use for the past few hours i will explain better when i come to this all right for the coat starting and for the hand starting let's go you put on you put off first of all you put off this circuit breaker switch you put it off make sure it's in off position so that even when the gen is on it doesn't power the house immediately all right then you put this on the kick put it on then the four tap should be on Make sure the four tap is on, okay, and then you choke. This generator uses the automatic system of shocking, and then you choke. What this does is it closes the carburetor and allow for pressure, so the generator can start. Okay, when you take it back, the generator carburetor opens. Okay. That is a system on its own that calls for deeper explanation. All right, let's see start. Before you kickstart a generator, take, pull the handle a little till you notice it has hooked to a particular point. point. What that does is the starter here has hooked to the flyway. I repeat, you pull a little till you notice that hook, then you draw, you pull. If you watch carefully, after I pulled, I returned the shock. So therefore, how do you put on the generator? You do this you on on the four tap shock, and after the generator has come on, you return the shock. All right, that is it for the code starting. Okay, I would have loved to explain how to do this with a kick starting, but right now the battery is down. I told you the gen has not been in use for a while, so the battery is down. So when the battery is well charged. The best thing to do is to follow the same format I've done, but this time around, instead of using the hand starting, you take the key and do this. When the gen comes on, you return the shock. That is almost the same system, but just a little tweak because you have to take this down. And when the gen comes on, you return the shock. All right, this particular generator has been in use. It's hot right now. And most times when the generator is hot, it doesn't come on when you shock it. I will use this to explain better. All right. We talked about the, hand, the manual starting there. 
and I'll do same with this. You put this switch off, you take this to the on position, you put on the fourth tap and you choke. You see? After shocking, you discover it was difficult to come on. Why? Because the gen is still very warm. And what do I do next? I, I take it back. Instead of shocking, I take it back. And this time around, I pull. All right. That is how to start a gen that was previously used a few minutes ago and you are trying to put it on again. All right, for the kick starting, this is what you do. Since we already know the gen is warm and it cannot come on while it's shook, we leave the shook the way it is. But this time our foil tap is on, every other thing is on as it should be, then we kick the start. <laughs> That is how to kickstart a generator. Number two, when using a generator, please do well to make sure the generator is clean. That is one of the key things to note for generator usage. Do well to note to keep the generator clean. Ensure that parts of the generator, are clean, especially the tank region, you clean your tank very well so that does not find a way of entering your generator another thing to note another thing to note while using a generator is to regularly check the oil level regularly check the oil level wow this thing is so strong <laughs> it feels ah uh, all right oops i've been able to lose it now okay regularly check the oil level to see if the oil is well gauged okay there's the engine oil in this generator but it's i think it's due for change already okay check your owner's manual to see when you should change your oil okay that said another key thing you should do is to is to regularly clean your generator plug regularly clean your generator plug this is it this is your plug there is a link at the top of this screen that will guide you on how to properly clean your plug okay please do well to assess that link all right Another key thing you should do while using your generator is to try your possible best not to overload the generator. Okay, as a matter of fact, it is necessary you don't overload the generator. Like this part of this particular generator is rated 6,000 watts, a surge watt of 6,500. Do make sure your appliances at home is not more than this. Um, rating as a, as a matter of fact i advise that you reduce the load of your generator by at least 10 percent to your generator rated watts so if you have appliances at home just try your possible best to reduce it by at least 10 percent so your generator life will increase because you and i know when a normal human being works so hard stress the body the whole time sooner or later uh, sickness comes in and what have you same applies to the generator all right okay one more thing when your key is on regularly and your gen uses a battery what this does is it affects your generator battery lifetime it reduces the lifetime of your generator battery so this is it after using the generator please put it off Take it back, okay? Take it back to the off position. Do not leave it at the on position. If your generator for some reason goes off because um, the generator exhausted the fuel on the tank, the best thing to do is to go to the generator and take this off. That will therefore increase the lifespan of your, of your battery. Most of the times you hear people say, 
I bought a generator three months ago and now my generator battery is gone. The battery in my generator is fake. It's certainly not that way. It's just that they didn't do the right thing to their battery life, to their battery and that reduced the battery life of their generator. Okay. If you've loved this video, please do well to hit the subscribe button. Do well to share this with friends and family. Do not forget to drop your comments to tell us what you love about these videos and what you would want us to do in our next video. Till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye from us. Take care.